So this is one of many, many edits at the site. I'm not going to bother showing all of them to you because most of them look like this. But I just wanted to give this one as an example because there are just at least a dozen, if not more, of these edits. And this was not a small edit, obviously. Um, and they're just all around the site. There are more up on the hill. There were more on the way in. I mean, just edits all over the place. And uh, waste rock pile here is a decent size. This is a big site. You can see the remains of a structure here in front of me, extending over that way. And then behind me here, you see the remains of another structure. These were not small structures either. Broken glass, window glass, stuff like that. And this site extends down. There's, I can see more stuff down there as well. So we'll uh, go check that out. All right, I've been telling you guys this is a big site. And I wasn't kidding. You can see there's a cemetery here even. A grave over there as well. Of course, one in front of me. And there's some more established, uh, I don't know if established is the right word, some more traditional, some more elaborate, some more fancy graves up here. Not that one there, but this one, for example. What a job getting this back here. Died about 1915. Native of Canada. It says down at the bottom there. And then, there's another one up here. He had a very long life. Native of Indiana, died in 1962. And those are just the graves. They're obvious. I'm sure that there are others around here that um, just not seeing or, you know, have been lost to history right now. All right, I'm continuing down that road now. And I can tell already there's some stuff up here. Obviously there was a building or something here on the left. It's all leveled out. You can see some tin there. And uh, something here on the right. I assume that was a tank. There's every appearance of being a tank. And up here on the right, wow. Look at this. That is absolutely enormous. Wow. Unfortunately, the top part of it is gone. However, that part there is larger than a truck. Um, I wish somebody was here with me to give perspective on the size of that, but that is absolutely enormous. That's probably 12 feet or more long. That, man, really impressed by this. You can see the foundation there, and then obviously it has some platform around it to, uh, so the guys could work on it and service it and such, I suppose. You see the remains of a rock wall right there. Man. Impressive. You can see uh, these boards here are just giant too, no surprise. It's more tin. There's probably a, uh, judging from the corrugated tins up there, there's probably a building that was over this at one time to protect it, which that would only make sense. Yeah, fortunately this has been stripped pretty badly. And... That looks like an adit right there. Ah! That is an it, but the Forest Service got here first. Wow. 
I wouldn't be surprised if they were responsible for uh, hauling away that compressor back behind me either. That is too bad. Yep, that is the forest service. Alright, so here we are at the portal. And like I said, unfortunately the uh, forest service got here first. But I will try to stick the camera down. I can't get down there myself because it's super narrow, but I'm going to put the camera down there and uh, hopefully we can see something. So hold on a second. Okay, I can't see what you guys are seeing right now. Well, I mean, I will want to edit the video, but at least for right now, I can't see what is being seen back there. So, um, it'll be interesting to see when I get home and edit the video what's back there. Uh, obviously, there's water down there, but at least from the little bit that I can see, the attic looks like it's in pretty good shape. Um, so, it's a shame that the, uh, the Forest Service opted to destroy it. Okay, I've got that added behind me. There's that, uh, again, I believe it was a compressor there in front of me. And I'm sure there's more stuff on the creek here, so let's push on and see what we can find. Alright guys, so I'm looking for a way across the creek right here. And uh, lo and behold, right in front of us is this big boiler down in the creek. How cool is that? Alright, there's another look at that boiler. Hopefully you can see into it a little bit. And hopefully I don't fall, but if I do fall, you're going to get to see it on film, or on camera, so that's, that's good stuff for you guys. Okay, continuing our adventure on the other side of the creek. You can see a uh, large structure was here. Really hard to tell what this might have been. It was large, whatever it was. Those almost look like ovens right there. See in the front there? Now I'm not saying 100%, it's all speculation, but I, uh, I don't have a better guess right now than that those were ovens. And so maybe this was some kind of cookhouse or something the miners, the dining hall, mess hall, whatever you want to call it. That's what I got right now for ideas. There were a lot of miners working here, so uh, that would make sense. But I stand ready to be corrected if anyone has another suggestion or idea. Alright, let's keep moving down. Oh, there's some insulators. Um, as I was saying, let's keep moving down this road toward the waste rock pile and see where that takes us. And over here, we've got some pretty big waste piles, waste rock piles. So, I'm guessing there might be something good over here. Wow. Yeah, that's pretty big. Goes out on this rock here. Of course, there's the creek down there. And, uh... That log I crossed on the way in is right there. And the boiler is like right there. Okay. Referencing the topographic map, there was an adit right here. I'm assuming this is the one that fed the waste rock pile. And you can actually see the uh, the rock that was stacked up over the entrance right there. See the pipe and stuff coming out there. But most interestingly, 
if you look above, see that? That's a big stamp mill. So, let's work our way up there and check that out. All right, I'm working my way up to the stamp mill now, there. But uh, as you can see, there's a lot of stuff here in front of me as well. This uh, is all connected to the stamp mill, I believe. But uh, this is a large building. Very large building. See how much stuff is here? They're wild. Some of the stuff right here in front of me. Try to take it all in. Man, these beams are enormous. Okay, I'm up another level now. The stamp mill. And uh, got this massive wheel right here in front of me. It sure would have been something to see this in operation. Chicago Pneumatic Tool Company. And there are the uh, stamps there getting closer. You see the, uh, the mill system work its way down the hill here, down toward the creek. Okay, here we are, up underneath the stamps. Look at this structure. And tell me that is not impressive. Five stamps on that side, five stamps on the, uh, four stamps on this side, one of them is missing. But there were five stamps. That says Union Iron Works, San Francisco, California, pattern number 41. For those that know about stamp mills, there is the huge wheel. Very cool. Very cool. Here's a view back toward the mill. These pieces of wood are just enormous. Those are probably two feet across. And uh, these support columns. Sounds like the boys are having fun back at the camp. Um, those support columns, those are probably, I would guess, three and a half feet, three, three and a half feet wide, just to give you a sense of uh, how big that is and how big of a tree that would have been. Another view of Stamp Mill. Really, really impressed by this. It's very cool. Okay, here's a view into the workings behind the stamps. Obviously some sort of mechanism to feed ore down into the stamps themselves. A little tricky maneuvering back here, so bear with me. So it's kind of, it's kind of I mean obviously there's some kind of chute or bin right here that would ferry the ore down and uh, dump it out down there directly in the stamps. But uh, it's hard to see exactly how that would have worked uh, with everything being in the advanced state of decay that it is. Okay, so the stamp mill is there. And I just wanted to show you guys this tree down below me that had a cable wrapped around it at some point. And 
look what that did to the tree. That's pretty intense strangulation right there. Okay, stand mills behind me. More stuff uh, here on the ground. And it looks like there's more stuff up there. So I'll cruise up there and uh, see if there might be anything of interest there.